Hello, Mohesh here from Khan India Science team. And yes, we are still hiring. We are still looking for video creators and content writers to join us, join our science team. And if you haven't applied yet, please go to the link in the description below and fill out the Google form. The form has all the details you need about the project that we'll be working on, the responsibilities and the roles and all of that. And so once you fill all the details, you submit and that's that. And if we think there is a role fit, then we'll reach out to you, we'll give you a few topics and ask you to make a piece of content for us. And in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about what exactly are we looking for when we see, when we review your content submissions. So if we start with video creation, the two things that we are looking for in your content submission is one, does it have a conversational tone? And the second one we're looking for is, does it provide a deep explanation? Our video is not a lecture between a teacher and say a thousand students. Instead, while making a video, imagine it's just a one-to-one -one conversation. You're talking to somebody, it could, be elder, it could be older than you as well, but someone who's curious to learn what's going on. So think of your video as a one-to-one -one conversation and the best conversations happen when your tone is natural. Just be yourself. And when it comes to explanation itself, I think the challenge today for learners is not that there is no content out there. There is a lot of content. They're drowning, I think, in, in, in the world of content that is out there. But I think when they're going through all of that, one of the questions that might be going through their mind is, hey, what's really going on over here? And so we aspire to provide intuition. For different subjects, it could be different. For example, when it comes to physics, the intuition could be for the equations. Sure, you can derive an equation mathematically and you can apply it in numericals and solve it, but can I provide an intuition for what, does, what is that equation trying to tell me? Can I make that equation talk to my learner, for example? Uh, for biology, it could be like, there's so much complex processes going on. If you look at like say inside the human body, there's so many things going on over here. So the challenge over there could be like, what do I include? What details do I need to include? And what details do I not include? What kind of details should I give so that I can build a beautiful story and provide an intuition of like what's going on and how fascinating the biological process is all around us. So yeah, natural one-to-one -one conversational tone and if explanation can provide intuition for me. That's what we're looking for in videos. Lastly, what we are not looking for is the production quality of your video. Even if you have no experience in video making, you've never made a video in your life, all you need is a camera, which is there in your phone. You can just point it at a piece of paper and start writing. Nothing should stop you from making a video now. Okay, now when it comes to practice questions for writing submissions, again, the first thing we're looking for is, does it have a conversational tone? This time in writing, but with crisp sentences, with proper punctuations and grammar. And the second more important thing that we're looking for is providing meaningful feedback. If you check out our exercises, you will see that whenever somebody is stuck, you have an option to click and use a hint. And when I go through the hints, it nudges me towards the right answer. And so I can keep on checking, asking for more and more hints and eventually the final hint gives me the right answer. This is just like in a classroom when a student asks a teacher a question, a good teacher doesn't just give away the right answer, but nudges them slowly and steadily towards because there's no more, no, there's no better satisfaction than arriving at the answer yourself with a little bit of help. And concepts can have misconceptions in them. And we want to make sure when learners click on the wrong option, we not only tell them that it's wrong, but also provide an explanation for why that option is wrong. The thing about misconception is if you just tell people what the right answer is, it won't go away. You need to first start by telling why it is wrong. And so that's why in our options, it's important to mention why the wrong options is wrong, which means we have to think about the wrong options carefully. We try not to confuse learners by giving tricky wrong options. Instead, we genuinely want to give options where we think people can go wrong and then provide explanations for why they are wrong. So part of giving meaningful feedback is providing guided hints and short explanations for why options are wrong or options are right. And the hope is that this can attack the misconceptions really hard, allowing learners to master their concepts. And all of these will be provided to you as guidelines when we ask you to make the content. So I look forward to your submissions.